for, for, for most of us um, of a certain era growing up in school, you know, we knew the, the line in the beginning was the word. I think for most kids now it's in the beginning was Google. They think it's been there forever and they don't understand it when you say you went through school and Google didn't exist. They're like, how did you find things out? I know. Uh, the UK, from an advertising and marketing marketplace, it's much more concentrated. It's very concentrated here in London. It's very concentrated among agencies, uh, customers, creatives. Uh, it's more digitally sophisticated than any other market in the world. Already about 50% of advertising is digital. In the US, it's about 25%. I expected New York ad tech would have been the most sophisticated marketplace. I was actually stunned to see how far advanced the UK is and the rate of growth is accelerating here. There's a remarkable range of partnerships that companies like Google get involved with. Uh, individual stars, young uh, YouTube stars that many of us had never heard of five years ago, Tomska, Zoella, these are homegrown UK stars who have audiences of three, five, eight, nine million uh, consumers, subscribers to their channels on YouTube. So we do uh, smaller, we do partnership agreements with people like that, partnership agreements with companies uh, like the BBC and Sky and others, BT. The, the reason for that is that while initially when YouTube was first founded in 2005-06, it was seen as a threat to copyright owners. Uh, it has since then, since Google's acquisition of YouTube in late 2006, we've architected something called a content ID system, which allows for a digital watermark to identify at high volumes uh, any copyright owner content that might be uploaded by anyone around the world. So Google is, at its core, a, a, a company, a tech company that creates technologies and solutions to improve the lives of billions of people. And we have something called the toothbrush test at Google. And uh, the notion is products that the engineering teams build at Google should be usable as, you know, twice a day or more by billions of people around the world. What do you see as the challenges for, for people sitting here right now in how to reach and connect with their, their potential consumers without them skipping this ad in five seconds. So for broadcasters, how and how seamlessly they integrate advertising into that uh, viewing experience is a new challenge. But the biggest shift in our behavior as people has been to consuming content on our mobile devices. And that we see is the most significant shift from an advertising standpoint, even for what we've built. If you look at the history of Google, which is uh, not quite 17 years old, it really has been built on engineering prowess, uh, engineers who question a process or a norm that seems inefficient and broken, and how can we improve it? And so it's at its nature disruptive. We've been disruptive, not simply for the sake of disrupting uh, industries, but really to improve outcomes for humans. And I can tell you, that was one of my criteria in, in leaving Time Warner. Could I really believe in the vision and uh, kind of the ethos of Google? And if you've read anything about the founders and Larry Page's vision, he really is a purpose-driven, how can I leave this world a better place than I uh, uh, found it when I arrived here. Um, thank you so much for your questions, for your attention as well, but big, big thanks to Eileen. Thank you, Claire. Um, thank you.